One of the biggest changes that changed literally everything here in ASDD is the fact that level 80 is no longer the level cap. Boy, I'm sick and tired of doing this, but I'm gonna teach you guys something. It's so cold. What's going on, Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All Star Tower Defense. And recently, guys, I actually noticed that I'm getting a lot of comments and also, you know, some DMs as well on Discord asking me how the heck am I grinding my EXP units, especially now that the game actually changed the level cap and it's now going to be 120 or at least level 120 instead of level 80. And I just cannot remember, guys, when I actually posted a video about a lazy grind or at least a lazy way to grind exp units but i'm pretty sure guys that that is already outdated because i am now using a different strategy and i'm not even gonna call it a strategy guys because i mean <laughs> after i discovered this it just made things easier for me guys and of course i'm now also starting to pile up some exp units i mean if we're going to check our bag i mean look at this guys i now have like a bunch of five star units again so Kind of like uh, stacking my bag up again for EXP units. My target is at least uh, having like 150 EXP units, guys. And I think that that is not really going to be hard, even though it is already confirmed. Or at least there's already an announcement that the next big update will be already next weekend. So that is that is really a good news or at least a big news for us, guys. That means ASDD would no longer take like three weeks update, but rather it's going to be two weeks at least for this update that is if if it will not be delayed as usual but anyway guys <laughs> i'm sure that you are dying to know how am i grinding my exp units but come on guys i always got you anyway let's go let me just remind you guys before we start anything that this strategy at least is more focused on being lazy rather than being time efficient but the first strategy that i'm going to show you guys of course we're going to select extreme the first strategy that i'm going to show you guys will be at least uh, for beginner players and also for those who got a pretty good connection because well this would be a very short run and we're just going to place like uh, one Genos here. And as you guys can see, my Genos right now is level 120. And uh, well, his damage is now 286.81. And actually, guys, I want you to listen carefully because this first strategy is kind of complicated. So after placing your Genos here, the next thing that you need to do, guys, is just to wait for cash, obviously. But the magic about Genos is about his SPA, guys. Kind of like the same way how we were using Gate or Gilgamesh before. But it's just going to be a lot, lot better because, well, he is a hill unit, even though he's not like flexible as the hybrid unit but still you have a solid defense against those not so tanky air units again guys this is for those players who got a pretty decent connection because well of course loading time would also matter and at the same time i, I do not really do this but whatever i'm asking let's say my sister to play at least uh, to to play my account and uh, get me some exp units uh, she doesn't know anything about this guy so this is also a foolproof strategy because it doesn't really matter if you have experience or have a lot of experience uh, here in ASDD, guys. As long as you have Genos, then you should be good. Like one SP is just, mm, mamma mia, is just really, really sexy and OP, OP. All right, so we have number four, guys, and we still don't have enough cash. And this would actually be a lot faster, obviously, if we were going to use Bull Mama. But let's just say, guys, you just started the game. Okay, let's just say you just started the game. Of course, you would not have like five star bull mama unless you actually rolled for it. And yeah, you should <laughs> because you will be needing your bull mama. But yeah, I just have our bull mama here because I'm so lazy. You know, I mean, this is this strategy is for lazy people. I mean, <laughs> they don't expect for me guys to remove everything, at least on my bag. All right, so there you go, guys. Enough cash. 1200 and we now have two upgrades for our genos and keep in mind that our genos here doesn't even have a freaking orb this is gonna be nuts guys because the next step would be really big and that is give me a drum roll please um actually give me some cash first okay there you go bam upgrade your genos to upgrade number three 
And the next step after that, guys, is ta da! No, no more steps. Like, that is it. <laughs> that is it, guys. You see, Genos on his third upgrade is a beast for EXP grinding. And the reason why we're not gonna further upgrade him, guys, is because on his next upgrade, he will lose that magical 1 SPA, guys. And 2,000 per 1 second, I, I would take that any day instead of like 4 SPA for what? Maybe like 7,000 plus damage. And again, this is only one single Genos with three upgrades, guys. And I can guarantee you, I mean, I would just probably show you the whole run, but maybe just fast forwarded. But I mean, you guys might be saying, hey, no, maybe you just uh, cheated because you cut the video, something like that. But no, guys, I'm not going to do any cuts here, guys, but I'm just going to show you and slap it on your face that <laughs> one Genos with upgrade number three is already enough to at least have a freaking wave number 20 run. It is already wave number 16, guys. But as you guys can see, it is still standing strong. Only one unit, guys. Not even maxed out. Only upgrade number three. But he's already melting each and every one of them. I mean, I know, guys, that maybe some of you will be saying, Hey, Snow, what if we do not have a level 120 Genos? I mean, who cares if you will reach like wave number 20, right? If he's like level one, then just probably use some orb to compensate with the lack of damage and probably just do some wave 10 runs. But I mean, once you've already maxed out your Genos, guys, as you guys can see, it's just so easy. Look at that. We even cleared like literally the whole wave number 17 <laughs> and forced the game to give us the wave clear because we just melted everything, guys. I mean, I can just uh, sell our Genos right now and I'm pretty sure that we would still end up having like wave number 20, right? So that that is that is actually a lot better if you want to be time efficient. So, I mean, that's it, guys. Just just one unit, then I sold it. And I'm pretty sure that this whole run will end up on at least having wave number 20 plus. That is only one unit, guys. That is only one unit. And that means that is already an equivalent of wave number 60 run, at least in the normal version of the infinite mode, which is eh, a little bit meh. <laughs> All right, not bad. Even wave number 22. And like what I promised to you guys, that would give me, ooh, even a four star. Look at that. That would give me an instant six pieces of these loot. All right, guys, we are now back again on the extreme infinite mode run. And I think that you no longer need to ask how to get like wave number 30 because I mean, you just saw me getting like wave number 22 only literally by using one Genos. But wave number 40 will be a different story, guys. And obviously this would be a little bit longer, at least uh, for the whole run compared to the wave number 20 run, which will also give you, you know, like more AFK time. <laughs> and this is what I usually do whenever I am probably watching something or probably editing, you know, like uh, just running in the background while I'm editing. Cause I mean, it, it's just so easy, but you know, this actually requires a little bit more time for the preparation because our goal here is to have like eight pieces of only three upgraded um, Genos and at the same time, like all of our Blackbeard six star at max. So that's the reason why we'll be needing our Bull Mama. So as you guys can see, I started the run by placing our farm and uh, just wait for the wave clear, upgrade our Bull Mama. There you go, another upgrade after you got the money. And your very first target here, guys, is just to get four upgrades on your Bull Mama. And do not worry about these running mobs because I mean, trust me guys, they're not gonna kill you. <laughs> we are gonna kill them, all right? Okay, there you go, wave clear, and that would give us 700 plus cash. There you go, and uh, that's it. Four upgrades in our bull mama. So we're just gonna wait for one more wave clear, guys. That would give us enough cash to at least place uh, one Genos. Actually, we don't even need to place like only one. We will be placing like two, so that would also make everything faster for us. And keep in mind, guys, that you do not even need to max out your Bull Mama, you know? Like, uh, Bull Mama can probably stay up until once her upgrade is already like 10k. The only reason why we are using Bull Mama is because the money that you will get up until, or at least before, those mobs will be so tanky and also so fast for our Genos would not be enough for you to defend your base. But anyway, guys, I'm just gonna put our Genos here. 
that's one and the other one would be on the same literally on the same corner where we placed our loner genos earlier guys and this is already good enough to at least uh, defend the base up until probably around wing number 10 unless that uh, you're gonna upgrade this uh, genos here in front i mean upgrading our genos at least this uh, genos would already give us like up until wave number 20 without any problem guys but we're not gonna upgrade him yet because i just wanted to upgrade our bull mama first just to prioritize so that we will be able to at least uh, get enough cash as fast as we can to place eight pieces of blackbeard six star here in front all right so there are some powerfuls here and i think i'm just gonna upgrade our genos to take care of them okay there you go we clear 1600 and i think that we will be able to get like 2100 as well on this wave yeah that would be more than enough actually all right so you guys might be asking hey snow why do wave 40 run if we can just do like lower well you see if you're going to do like lower waves guys it means that you need to reconnect you know go to the lobby walk from the spawn to the infinite mode run and if you're lazy guys again this this video is about laziness all right and if you're lazy i mean I, i'm not gonna do that <laughs> there's no way that i'm gonna do that if i wanted to be lazy then i wanted to afk as much as i can so that it'll be like less effort i mean i know guys that the effort right now is a lot more compared to the previous one but it's kind of like paying off because it means that we will be staying here in the game longer than the time that we need to stay if it's only going to be a wave 20 run okay there you go six thousand and i think that this should be enough i cannot really count <laughs> how many upgrades we did to our bull mama but just remember guys once you already can see that the next upgrade will be eight thousand then just stop guys okay that's already good enough all right so going to our blackbeard six star guys we're gonna do our leaderboard placement here guys so I guess just just follow what you can see on the screen guys and also do not forget to set the priority to last just max them out guys i mean we cannot do it right now or at least we cannot do it right away but just make sure that you're also gonna place like uh, all those genos here because this would be our main damage dealer obviously and i think that i no longer need this dude and don't forget to upgrade them as well guys to upgrade number three because i mean <laughs> we need more damage as well okay there you go all of our genos now are on their upgrade number three and we're not going to continue placing our blackbeard six star this would be really helpful guys because our aim here guys is not to even kill those uh, enemies around wave number 39 or something like that because they're they're actually really tanky for only three upgrades genos guys trust me but we just need our blackbeard to slow them down just to make sure that we will have enough time at least uh, to get all of those wave clears that we will be needing up until wave number 40. Okay, there you go i think that this should be it wave number 15 and you should now have enough cash to at least uh, max out all of those units that we will be needing and again our roster right now guys doesn't have doesn't even have any orb except for our bull mama but i think that cost orb is now so easy to get like uh, it's one of those trials if i'm not mistaken but yeah uh, this should be enough guys once we already have maxed out this uh, black beard then that would ensure everything will be slowed down and that was buy us some time to reach wave number 40 without a hassle all right so this is gonna be the bird's eye view of the placement if ever you wanted to take a screenshot i guess but i mean we're already finished on setting things up guys so it means that this is now going to be my AFK time. Como esta, senores and senoritas? And we are now back. And as you guys can see, we are still solid here already on wave number 35. Well, we are no longer killing them as fast as we were earlier. But as you guys can see, no cheating, guys. Still only on upgrade number three. Just maxed out Blackbeard and holding on to the wave just like a solid solid defense no effort guys no effort i've been afk for how many minutes already and that's the reason why this is such a lazy way of grinding those exp units and keep in mind guys that the higher the wave the better at least for your time efficiency but of course the longer the run or the longer that you will stay in a run the higher the risk of just getting nothing because of the discount okay there you go another wave clear wave number 39 now i think it's about time for us to sell our stuff and yeah i'm not confident that this is now gonna end just having wave number 40 and as much as possible though i mean you can also uh not sell them but of course guys you just wanted to save your time if you wanted to at least uh be time efficient and there you go nothing more nothing less wave 40 run and there you go 
12 pieces of EXP units. Sweet. Wow. Just wow. This is literally what I was talking about earlier, guys. Like, <laughs> you can go for way more 50, but just make sure that you are not going to experience this kind of glitch. Like, for some reason, I, I really think that it's all about my bag, guys. Because my bag right now is literally like 450 plus, uh, something like that. Like, literally full. All right. So, yeah, this is the only bad thing about uh, going on wave number 50 run because uh, most likely you're just gonna get disconnected because i mean these units will just be stacked all together guys uh, there will be a lot of units and soon enough i will now just uh, get the what was that the air connection something like that and there you go the most annoying part of grinding exp unit so there you go guys those are the big brain ways of how i'm grinding my exp units at least uh, in preparation for the next update and also if ever i wanted to max out a unit guys and i hope that this video will help you and if it did well do not hesitate to leave a like and of course subscribe use star codes now whenever you're buying robux and as always thank you so much for watching guys stay cold Remember to always use your big brain. Out.